Welcome everyone, welcome to another Let's Play. We'll be playing The Stanley Parable. Uh, a game kindly donated by my friend CK Hawk. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, you're pelting me with games and I feel really guilty, but oh well. He's the one that brought you some foie, um, the tales of werewolves, for example, and so on. But uh, we're going to play this game, The Stanley Parable. I think it's made on the Half-Life 2 engine. I'm not sure. I've heard of it, but this will be completely blind because I don't even know what the heck it's about. So this will be completely blind, as I said. Uh, begin the game. Never the end is never the end is never the end is loading. That's not a good thing. The end is loading. Sounds very ominous. Yeah, I believe this is built on the Half-Life 2 Source engine, but I might be wrong as always. We'll see very soon enough. Very soon enough, that's a rather interesting phrase. Yeah, we'll see soon enough, <clears throat> because you can see the telltale signs of a Source engine, even if it's heavily modified. Well, this is certainly taking its time. I think it's because of the uh, recording. Or oh, maybe not, I don't know. It does have multi-core rendering, which is... Well, at least the option, which is nice, because... A lot of the games today either have problems with that, or just don't really take much uh, use out of that. You know, having four physical cores is nice, but... This is the story of a man named Stanley. I'll shut up now. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Oh. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. <laughs> Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Okay. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Sounds and like although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Sounds a little bit, a bit like Aperture Science. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. <laughs> right, so this is going to be narrated. Yeah, I do believe this is a Half-Life 2 engine, but... <clears throat> excuse me. Hold on, I think I'll have to do something about... It's a little... Yeah, choppy. Hold on. Alright, so sorry about that. Uh, it's definitely smoother now. Uh, the recording software does not like it particularly very much because it's still a little choppy. If I turn it off, it's completely smooth, so oh well. Anyway, where is everyone? I already like this. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. It says, who farted on this mug. Oh, what's this? Very old computers, is it? Oh, we actually turned it off. Is there an achievement for turning off every... every computer or something? Well, definitely, yeah, this is the Half-Life 2 engine, which I've already said several times now, and I like the... you know, the whole... narration going on. Yeah, I'm gonna turn off all computers. We're just wasting electricity, after all. What does it say here? Username access. I can't get closer. Oh, oh, you can also just click. So I presume there's no attacking in this game, which is a nice change. Oh, somebody spilled the coffee. That is not very nice. 
Are those doors gonna close themselves? No, maybe not. Ooh. Hello? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, I entered the door on the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yes. I need to go there. Okay, I'm gonna stop trying the doors because I, apparently I can't really go into them. What is going on? Everyone is gone. I like this. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. <laughs> it had really been worth the mm. detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Mm. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Ah, <sighs> so nice. <laughs> I like the duration. <laughs> and it's not immaculate. Look, there's a box here, there's some papers there. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. <laughs> the narr narrator is slightly patronizing. I like it. At Offer. this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. <laughs> it's possible that this is why everyone left. <laughs> Cheeky. Well, let's stay here for just a little longer. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. <laughs> that was good. Let's wait a little longer. Right, so it's uh, it's half past eleven. So we still have a bit of time. I wonder if that... You know what? That big hand is actually moving. This is brilliant. Look, you see that? The clock is actually fully functional. I'm not sure about the small one, of course, but that's brilliant. I like little details like but that. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. <laughs> It's a nice picture. Hmm. I wonder where it's from. The first door on the left. No. Ooh. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> I like it. It's choices. And do not lie. If you're lying right now, stop. I'm not lying. <laughs> what is this place? What do we do here? I bet Stanley doesn't know himself. Oh, no, that is cool. <clears throat> Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. It will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift. Well, if you die, you pay $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, 5000 So <laughs> Let's do it. Look, Ooh. Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Right. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you forgot. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. <laughs> Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm loving this story already. This game, actually. Oh, oh wait. <gasps> there was no checkpoint. Okay, we All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. We can go the other way now. Actually, then we won't get to the... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I love the storytelling aspect. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, ah. Stanley took the first open door on his left. You can, you can cut it off, though. That's unfortunate, but oh well. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. 
<laughs> What's this? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you or the what? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. No, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Okay. Give me a chance. All right. <laughs> Danger everywhere. Let's see where we're going. We're definitely not following instructions, that's for sure. We're in control. Now listen carefully, this <laughs> is important. Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> I shall be a rebel. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> oh. I still don't think we're communicating properly. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. <laughs> you Whoa. see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map. Because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. <laughs> Broken <laughs> rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? No. Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. <laughs> Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. Okay. There we go. Ooh. A third option. <gasps> this already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Oh, I like it. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Yes. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. <laughs> Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. I did. Here, yeah, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. All right. <laughs> oh. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard <clears throat> Is offline, is offline, is offline, is offline Doors open, doors attempted, steps taken, endings achieved What? That many endings? Whoa, where am I? Well, that is a cool thing, look at that Stanley, 4 to 7, this is you <laughs> No! You are objectively ranked 9,030... <laughs> 10,328th out of... Why not ask some friends for help? You cheek error, friends list empty. Oh, you cheeky bastard. 21% <laughs> of the players skipped the intro sequence. Only the worst 3% players chose the blue door. <laughs> <One player's about laughs> How long does it take you to get to the correct door? Compete against others to improve your Stanley Parable career. Ah, uh, he wants me to go there. Let's go through the these ones again. Oh. Now, would you say that competitive <coughs> leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. No. Two. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Okay. 
<laughs> what the hell's going on? <laughs> this narrator is a cheeky bastard. Whoa, whoa! In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You <laughs> click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. <laughs> I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you <laughs> give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. <clears throat> Go on then. I wonder what happens if you actually play for four hours. You heartless <laughs> Bastard! <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> it's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> this is hilarious. Uh, see, you do not need weapons and explosions and everything in your game to make it cool. In fact, this is a rather nice breath of fresh air. Oh. Wait, this well, is... Well, Stanley, is this any better? Minecraft. At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. <laughs> From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Mm -hmm. oh. This will go here, no, here, and then... <laughs> Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. Damn it. I made this standing. Look Sorry. at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. That's a very bad house. That's a prison. I ain't gone in there. No way. <laughs> I'm going to watch the clouds and the trees and the blocks. And the flowers and the grass. I ain't going in there. Oh well, all right. <sighs> Isn't it grand? Mm -hmm. Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if. Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Oh yeah. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Ooh. Okay. Where? I can't jump, so... Oh, that's the only way I can go. Okay. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? No. Nope. Well, here we go, everyone. Some, A lot of people have asked me, play Minecraft! Here we go, I am playing Minecraft. <laughs> I haven't brought a light. How do... Oh, it's actually not that dark. What's that? What are these? I have no idea. They're pixels. Oh, could we gotten... could we have gone there? Oh, like, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Oh, something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. <laughs> Even the diamonds couldn't save this oh. one. Okay, new game. What the hell was that? It was a zombie. <laughs> new game. I wonder what other game we'll go through. This is brilliant. All right, loading, 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 load. Ah, <gasps> oh, aperture science. 
<laughs> yes, I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. Me too. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the Ooh. hell this is. Well, give me a portal. I guess not. What does it say? I want to... Portal test sequence. Hand card. Identification card? Something. That's a cool effect. Ooh. This is brilliant. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. I can't believe they let him do this. This is brilliant. Genius. Ooh, the elevator. Yeah, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. Ooh. Oh! Oh. Holy crap. Where are we? Beta. Office space. Where the hell are we? Rate your experience. Filing cabinets. Work in progress. <laughs> Let's see where we can go. <gasps> I fell down again. Whoa! Okay, this is definitely some weird stuff in our minds. Hello, narrator? I feel alone. Hmm. Walk towards light. They always say don't walk towards light, but oh well. Are we in a coma? And this is these are dreams or something. I don't know. I have no idea so far. Whoa. It's like a control room. Yes. Oh, that's... Wait. That looks as some kind of a... Yeah, that looks as some kind of a... Um, uh, why are words escaping my mouth or my mind? A uh, music creator thingy. Um, hmm. I'm just pressing my use button several times. <laughs> Sequencer! That's what I wanted to say. Look, says... Whoa. Where are we? Hello? I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. I do. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be <laughs> back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. <laughs> Very soon. Uh oh. I can wait. <laughs> He's not narcissistic at all. Oh. The end is never. The end is loading. <laughs> this is bizarre, but awesome. We went through Minecraft. We went through Portal. I wonder where else we'll go. Hopefully he'll show us some more games, because this is brilliant. Very well done. I mean, the Portal part looked completely like Portal. The, um... Well, I guess the assets are taken from it. The Minecraft one as well, from, you know. Uh, but let's see where that takes us as well. Ooh, music. Oh, we're back here again. Wait, was that the ending? All of his co-workers were gone. Ah. What could it mean? <clears throat> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, let's uh, follow him this time. Yeah, let's do that. 
Ooh, meeting. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, let's see. Meeting schedule. Monday, weekly target admin, IT department, weekly review, blah, 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 legal. <coughs> Excuse me. Group 41X, 42X, 43X, 44X, blah, 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 office party. Huh. Wait a second. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, obviously 13, 14, 15, 16. What is that? Group. Huh. What does this say? Targets. Push for funding for... What? Art... R plus D. Oh, recent in the department of new coffee machine. Not efficient. Get Chris out of the broom closets. Uh, hire someone to synergize papers. Papers are too synergized. Fire paper guy. Hire somebody to fire the paper synergism guy. Who moved my desk? Please keep the targets on the topic of nothing. The future was yesterday, tomorrow is now. Tomorrow, complete today's unfinished agenda items. Write next day's agenda. Reflect, employee. Oh wait, oh this is changing. What are your free f dreams for the future? Nature, transcend, yes, transcend. Metamorphosis, absolutely. Transhumanism, tips for not getting fired, talk less. Do unbelievably amazing work all the time every day with no expectation of promotion or recognition. Don't get fired. <laughs> Yeah, that, that last one is very good. How to solve a dispute with a co-worker. Let it ball up inside you. Take it out passively aggressively on other co-workers. Resent co-workers for not supporting you more. <laughs> Using sliders to assure employees that everything is okay. Oh, slides. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some bevel on all the text. This will ensure a calm and productive work environment. Everyone is unique. You, most of all. Stanley just stood there doing nothing at all. He seems to think I have nothing better to do with my time than to sit around and describe every fascinating little detail of his inability to do anything. This is why Stanley and I are on such good terms. <laughs> Rate at which charts on the same slide depict the same information. <laughs> it's useless. What do people want? Things, money, more money, things, but with money to buy more things, graphs, graphs about things and money. We have our new product. <laughs> The stock market is somewhere here. Colored in segment stripes requires more secondary research. What is hot? Profits, 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 profits. If you ever find yourself in a conflicting with another diligent employee like yourself, but more inclined towards conflict, unless you're the kind of person who initiates conflict, why? Right. Uh, right. Let us proceed. Oh, broom closet. Huh? I could open it. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. <laughs> All right, we'll get out of the broom closet next time. Thank you very much for watching. This there was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. Yes, yes. No reason to still be here. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.